Let's take you back to 1986 in this pretty little lake town called Providence Oaks. Meredith Weiss lives 3,000 miles away, but she's coming back to her hometown to fill in for her dad, a mail carrier. Do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. That's her boss. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. It's quite a change from her big city job. Different pace, different people. I think it's a toy bear. That's local cat lady Mildred Jenkins. Hmm, bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? That's Robert, the lumberjack. And then there's Maureen, who runs the diner. Ashley, it's pancake time! Meredith's two weeks in Providence Oaks are quite relaxing. Or are they? Will she reconnect with her best friend, Kay? <sighs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? Any memory in particular you're thinking of? Will she get into trouble? I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. Will she fall in love? We could have a cup of tea at my place. What will she do after her job is done? Go back, stay, or something else? It's all up to you. So return to the 80s and spend two weeks delivering mail in a town by a lake. Peggy 7.
It's my first day at a new school, and they're already threatening to abandon me in the woods? I bet my sister didn't have to go through any of this. The other students seem so friendly. Oh. And are very enthusiastic to share their hobbies. Sometimes it feels like classes can get a bit sidetracked. Objection! Wait, now I have to help a Kraken save the world? And why is everything on fire? Uh, are those alligators eating children? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Right? playing with my favorite toys, and grooming my fur. I also have humans who love me. But sometimes they forget that my adorable fluffy exterior <sighs> houses a demon of deadly destruction. No. Topple your things on the floor! Break the plague! Unroll toilet paper! Bobberize the flag! Tear up curtains! Destroy everything you love! Nap time! Like I said, my name is Cookie, and I am a cat. For now, I will sleep, but tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow, I will wait again. Наконец-то я дома.
So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? Someone else entirely. I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. The future is yours if you have the courage to grasp it. you back in time for breakfast? Life was a game, and someone else controlled you. That would explain so much! already here. Maybe they left something behind for us to salvage. Comic books, maybe? Hey, do you think I'm related to the Iron Giant? I'm pretty sure that's my dad! anyway.
So, you want to learn how to run a shop? As the best and only shop in town, let's dive in. For your first lesson, take in an order. See what they want, then look it up in the recipe book. Grab some ingredients and bang them together. 
Don't forget the unimportant part, getting paid. If you get an awkward customer who wants to haggle, listen carefully, size them up and then charge as much as you can. <laughs> there are some quiet moments, but not many. You can follow my story. Or grab your friends and make some crazy moments of your own. No matter what, there'll be some challenges. But there'll always be time for the occasional boogie. And if that wasn't enough, we need to keep rival shopkeepers at bay. Are you up to it? Welcome to Merrick's Market. It's now been a whole year since I've seen my family. After the accident, I was in hospital for a very long time. However, there was none nearby, so I had to be placed in one in the next town. Unfortunately, I can't remember the accident either, and I only know that I drove off the road in a car. And because of this accident, I developed a behavioural disorder. More precisely, a post-traumatic stress disorder which made me imagine things and caused me to behave uncontrollably. Anyway, the day after tomorrow is my little sister Sam's birthday. Alex. I need to find Sam. <laughs> 